it has an eagle, it has a clock, it has a mirror, or at least it used to have a clock and the eagle is missing a wing, but this was still the absolute highlight of our thrifting day. Once upon a time, this must have been absolutely spectacular. I'm Michelle, this is my romantic tangle, and my daughter and I went thrifting. This vintage toy box wasn't nearly as awe-inspiring as that clock, but it still caught my eye. I love old vintage toy boxes. I couldn't tell you why I love them as much as I do, but they fascinate me, and the graphics on this one were just so colorful and whimsical and made me smile. I always walk through and look at the artwork, and this mother and baby is so serene. That's another to add to my list of if that was a cross stitch kit, I would absolutely be stitching it the moment I saw it. We've got a giant rooster and a cat jumping over the moon. I think it was a cow that's supposed to jump over the moon, but it's whimsical and fun, and I like the man in the moon. And we've got a snow globe with an eagle. I know it's supposed to be feeding its babies, but it just looked really angry. Something about the whatever story this is telling, I couldn't quite get behind it. I do not know what a Volksmarch is, but somebody participated in 1979 and 1980. Have to have been together for... What is that, 40 years? I found a little bit of cross stitch. Is that a cross stitching embellishment that we use, or did somebody take a bedazzler to their cross stitch? It was cute. Old male caddies are another one of those things that I am always drawn to. I don't know why. I have one or two or three, and should probably pick one and hang it on my wall. I don't think this doll started out with this dress. I also think this doll probably used to have arms. Looks like someone somewhere along the way redressed her, because I remember the ones from my childhood having just the huge poofy crinolines. This looked like it had to be something to do with needlework, so I got it unfolded and decided it's an eagle and I don't want to stitch an eagle. That's different than having one as a clock. The letters are backwards, but the instructions are facing the right direction. So I don't know, is that punch needle or something? Someone enlighten me. The dollhouse is still there. The price has been reduced, but the furniture is gone. If I could have just bought the furniture when I found it a month ago, I would have bought the furniture and taken it home and put it in my own dollhouse and treasured it forever. I hope it didn't get lost or thrown away. I, it just makes me so sad that that furniture got separated from that house. Lots of antique dressers. I think a lot of the, these were here back on our last visit to the store. And here's a, one of these, a hundred dollars. And all it has is a record player, no eight track tape deck, no radio. I think that's overpriced. I see so many of these for like 10 or $15 or free at a state sale. Like they cannot give them away. But this thrift store is trying to get a good price for theirs. This is also a thrift store that says they're very negotiable. So maybe it'll find a home. If you know what this is, let me know because I am super curious. I know it has to be a something. And for a person who needs that something, I'm sure it would be very useful, but obviously it's to hold a thing while you're doing another thing. I just don't know what the things are. This was a huge box of fabric and patterns and just miscellaneous sewing stuff. In hindsight, it really was a great price, especially compared to some fabric scraps I found later in the day, but... It didn't need to come home with me and I left it behind. Now I'm looking at it thinking that might have been really fun to sort through and see what I could make out of it. But I don't regret it too much. There has to be a story behind this one.
So Carnival Cruise Paintings 2013 make offer. Were we trying to sell it at a garage sale? The thrift store wanted $2.99 and there is one painting in there. It's a lovely painting, but I wonder if there were more. I can't help but think that this goose has the wrong color bonnet. And that is utterly ridiculous of me, but that is how I feel about it. We stopped at a new to us thrift store after seeing signs by the highway. It is a thrift store liquidators and the sign said buy the pound, but there were prices on things. So I don't know if that is the thrift store's price or if this is pricing from estate sales that they liquidated. I wasn't quite curious enough to ask. It was a big warehouse that had a lot of leftover, like store overstock, and then what looked like either storage units that have been cleared out or more likely in my mind, garage and estate sale leftovers. We didn't find anything we wanted. I don't think we'll be in a hurry to go back and check them out again. And then we were back to St. Benny's. Patent Stretch Socks is one of my favorite discontinued yarns. They only had the one skein. And it was pretty bedraggled and didn't have a price on it. This brown sheep cotton top, which is discontinued, so I couldn't find a new price on it, but $7.99 for thrift store yarn. I cannot wrap my head around that. They had some huge boxes of six boxes, bags of six stranded cotton floss. They wanted $25 for a mix of JP Coats and Anchor and DMC. Again, that's too rich for my blood. I would have bought these printed quilt blocks, except you could see through the back that the print was way too faded to stitch. Let me know, did you see anything here that would have come home with you? How has thrifting been in your neck of the woods? In my corner of Oregon lately, it is just really hit or miss. Thanks for watching. I'm Michelle. This is my romantic tangle.